What's up, YouTube? I'm Brett from Rancher Rust. As always, if y'all enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave that comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000, and we hope you guys can help us get there. All right, so Michael Keaton doesn't know about Batman Return in the Flash movie. Mm. Months ago, it was reported that Michael Keaton was going to reprise his role as uh, as Batman in the Flash movie. Um, this was going to be kind of like a mentor role. And possibly, possibly, at least for fans like me that are assuming, maybe this could be a bridge into a Batman Beyond movie. Um... But a few weeks ago, uh, it was it, it was reported that maybe he just isn't as signed on as what fans had hoped. Um, and, you know, it's for a number of different reasons. And he's clarified, you know, some of it has to do with he just want to see the final draft. Others, um, the you know, other reasons is is, is his age. You know, it's been 30 years since he was first Batman. So, you know, he's not a young, he's not a spring chicken anymore. He is, uh, he's pretty, uh, well, he's pretty old now. He's like 69 years old. And he, uh, you know, for health reasons and what all is going on in this world, uh, for his safety and uh, his health, he's uh, kind of hesitant about signing on completely to this project. At this time, uh, you know, of course, that doesn't mean that, you know, later on things couldn't change and he wouldn't be more willing to do it. And it doesn't mean that he wouldn't be more willing to do it anyways. It just means that there is reasons why if he doesn't sign on to this project uh, that could be outside of the script or whatever it may be, it could be, uh, you know, simply because he's worried about his health. I won't get uh, any further into it. Instead of telling y'all about it, I will just read it to y'all guys. It says, When asked about returning as Batman in The Flash, Keaton uh, has played his hand close to his chest. According to comic book, Keaton is rumored to possibly enter the DCEU in a mentor role, similar to that of Nick Fury in the MCU. But most of the information acquired about Keaton's involvement comes from Muschietti himself, who's the director. Uh, as Keaton has stated, If I talk about Batman, I'll just be BSing you. I don't really know. I'll have to look at the last draft. Uh, it, sounds, it sounds like Keaton is still undecided if he really wants to be part of the production, and it will be up to how he feels about the story to decide his involvement. Now, like I said, you know, it goes on to state, you know, some of it is... Most of it actually involves his age. And, you know, whether or not he feels like this is a good role, a good time to uh, return as Batman, if there ever was a good time to return as Batman. Now, I always thought that um, DCEU needed a Fury-like character. I thought that would be perfect for this. Somebody that everybody can, you know, kind of lean on in times of crisis, because, you know, let take just uh, the Steiner Cuts Justice League. Um, these, you know, besides Wonder Woman um, and Batman, you know, these, um, these extraterrestrial threats and these large-scale threats are kind of something that is, they're still getting used to in a lot of ways. So, you know, it's good to have a mentor-like character that kind of is, is like, you know what, calm down, guys, we got this. Um, you know, somebody that you feel like they know what they're doing and what they're talking about. Now, I could, I would say maybe a Ben Affleck character uh, would be great for this role as well. Um, you know, he's already Batman, one, would, you know, that's a good reason for it. And he's got 20 years under his belt. I uh, thought he did great in the Snyder Cut. Uh, of Justice League. So, I mean, you know, he could play that mentor role. But I don't think he has the fan support that, let's say, a Michael Keaton has. I think that's, I think that's when you, when you really think about it, 
that's the difference between him and Michael Keaton. Um, Michael Keaton has the support of fan of, of Batman fans for 30 years. Uh, you know, for them to want him to reprise that role at 69 is telling you how much uh, of an enduring legacy he has with fans. Ben Affleck, on the other hand, you know, it's it's um, it's a divided fan base. You know, even here on Rants or Us, you know, I like his character. I like that version of Batman with Ben Affleck. But my co-host here on Rants or Us, Lance, isn't a big fan of it. He doesn't really like Ben Affleck. He thinks he's a terrible actor. He thinks he's a terrible Batman. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think Ben Affleck is a pretty good actor. Um, I think he, I'm not a huge fan of all of his movies, but I do believe that he, he plays a really good Batman uh, for that Batman that he's playing. Now, would he fit in with the Christopher Nolan Batman? Probably not. Like, I wouldn't wanted to see him in those movies. Um, I feel like that would, uh, I feel like Bale was the right part you know the right batman for those type of movies but if you want a batman that's been there for like 20 years uh you know he fits that role i, I would say pretty spot on um would he be would would um ben affleck be uh the right batman if you were let's say going to create something like a batman beyond movie uh no he would not be the right person for that role really to be honest with you the only person that's right for that role uh to play a mentor uh to a new batman would be michael keaton uh i don't see them getting anybody else for that role now that's not to say that there's any batman beyond movie in the works there isn't there's always rumors of that it could be on the works but um you know as far as anything that's concrete there's nothing but I will say that if, let's say, Michael Keaton returns in The Flash and there's a big outpouring of fan support towards his character and the movie does good, I would not be shocked if a Batman Beyond film gets greenlit uh, with him starring that older version of Batman, uh, you know, mentoring uh, Terry McGinnis. Like, I think... That would actually be um, the right setup, the right role, in a role that Michael Keaton would accept probably pretty happily because that would fit with, you know, kind of what he's wanting in his career, it seems like. Uh, you know, uh, you know, something that would, you know, as to go into it as a mentor figure, maybe not take on the whole full responsibility of things, Maybe not to, to be a part of something, but not to be the biggest part of something. Because let's face it, if he's in an Ezra Miller's Flash, uh, Michael Keaton is going to be the star of that. Whether he's in it in a brief cameo or whether he's in it, you know, for half the movie. Um, it's all going to fall on Michael Keaton's performance. Um, because Ezra Miller is good as I feel like he is as the Flash, he's not one that's going to, I don't believe he's one that can carry a whole movie by himself. They're going to need somebody like a Michael Keaton to take over that role. So, overall, I feel like it would be a nice bridge uh, from the Flash movie to maybe a possible future Batman Beyond movie uh, with Michael Keaton as the mentor figure. I think he would be great um, as as a mentor figure for the DCEU characters, uh, where that you know he could take on that role of you know being that steady hand that could allow them to you know you know face you know the biggest baddies in the universe. Um, but I also kind of feel like in that role maybe you could have Affleck in it and that'd be fine. Uh, but like I said, if you're wanting to really, really, uh, get fan support around the flash, I think you need a Michael Keaton in this film. And if, uh, we're ever going to see a Batman beyond movie, I think we need to see 
Michael Keaton in the Flash movie to be able to build up support from studios um, uh, for him to maybe appear in such a film. But let me know what y'all think, guys. Let me know if y'all are as excited about this as what I am when it comes to Michael Keaton being in the Flash movie. And if you're maybe as disappointed as I am when uh, it involves that he's not necessarily signed on. Uh, and by his own admission, he's still kind of uh, questioning whether or not he should. So let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all are... Uh, uh, what y'all's opinions of it are and as always thanks so much for watching